2030. And I think they're very serious about this because it's part of their grand economic plan. So if you can somehow get in on the action, you know, uh, whether it be uh, renting, you know, a unit or uh, Airbnb also offers Airbnb experiences, you could, uh, you know, offer a tour, you can offer the whole gamut. Karaoke, yeah, yeah, whatever, you name it, you know, tennis lessons, I don't know, whatever you want, yeah, want, want to do. Basketball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. One of my friends, she does yoga. She does yoga lessons. Or mm-hmm. She was doing yoga lessons, and she was doing ghost stories in her town. Yeah. And some people are doing stuff that's it's totally online. Others mm-hmm. are doing it in person. And uh, back to what, what you were saying about hosting, I've done both. I've done the situation you talked about where you're in the, in the building and you're with in the house and uh, with your guests and talking to them and available for them. I've also done remote hosting, which is what I mostly do now. So I check emails and I email them and I've got staff in the area in case there are any problems. And I check, basically I log onto a computer or my phone and I check for messages every yeah. time yeah, I and then I respond and make sure they've checked in. Okay. And uh, mm-hmm. tonight, uh, a couple were checking in and um, I checked on them and they said, Oh, by the way, can we stay another night? So I said, sure. So I uh, sent a request to Airbnb about them staying another night. And then they have to approve that. Um, so you okay. get down, get these little tricks down as you do it. But if, but if you are sending a message to Airbnb in Japan, um, are you doing this in English or in Japanese? I do everything in English and there's a translation function, which is, which is great. Yeah. It's really, I think it's one of the best translators uh, out there now, uh, better than Google and wow. as good as, or better than deep L. Yeah. Wow. It's really, it may be made by deep L. I'm not sure, but it's, it's really good. Actually the guest tonight, uh, I, I'm not sure if he's Japanese or not. He, He's um, requested in English, so I'm just yeah going back and forth in English with him. So when you say That's remote, great. when you say remote hosting, it means that you are living in a different place, a different city, yeah. and guests are checking into a different unit somewhere else. So you may never right. meet the hosts. You may yeah. never meet the guests face to face. That's right. Yeah, it, actually, now I usually don't meet them face to face. Yeah, mm-hmm. before I did all the time, but now I I don't. Mm -hmm. Um, I think for me, that's what suits me. Uh, Mm -hmm. I do enjoy talking to guests when we get together and I've learned so much, but, uh, um, as you know, I'm also teaching university, which people are in a job. So I think I want to do this long-term and to prevent my own burnout. I think this is the way I, I want to (laughs) want to do it. I think if I had to be in the house all the time, yeah, I, I don't think I could do it for seven years. Yeah. Not that I don't love guests. I love you, but <laughs> please keep coming. Okay. <laughs> and I'll uh, come see you if you want me to. <laughs> I have uh, another couple questions for you. Right. Um, so would you say then that the, the type of people who are successful with Airbnb are the type of people who are interested in real estate or interested or they're people, pe- people, people, or, um, you know, or they're more business savvy, mm. or maybe it's a kind of mm. the holy triangle, a triangle. Yeah. I, I would say all of those people you mentioned. The aspects. Yeah, but especially the people, people. Mm-hmm. And the people, people, the people who like people are the loveliest people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, they, they, of course, maybe want to host in person. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I love people. I know you do too. Um, but you've got to, uh, you, you got to think about being with people all the time and, uh, could you handle that long term? Uh, maybe you could, I, I don't know. Um, just the idea of doing the remote hosting, I think right. is, is a wonderful opportunity because maybe for most people, if you are busy working from a nine to five job, 
and then you're able to leverage your time and energy, yeah. uh, then there you go. Yeah. Um, that, that's what I love. I, I spend, um, once it's all set up, I've, I've got my staff and we communicate by line message. We've got a, a, two different line message groups. Mm -hmm. And of course, I can message them individually too. Uh, I spend minutes a day on this business. Mm -hmm. And I've, at, at, not during COVID, but during good times, I've made a five-figure income easily from this business. Wow. With two two guest houses, mm -hmm. not in a major tourist area, but near a major tourist area. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a major tourist area, I think you can do a lot better than I am doing. Yeah, my, the property is in the center of town, so it's in the main area, right? The tourist area. So right. all other Airbnb uh, apartments are all basically sold out. Oh, okay. So well, that's great. Yeah, that sounds. I envy you. Yeah, sounds like a great area. Yeah, ranging from three hundred dollars a night down to a uh, hundred dollars a night. Wow. Okay. So it's it's quite a. Yeah. Quite a. That's rip. that's great. Our area is a little bit off the beaten path, mm -hmm. so I can't charge so much. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a. Yeah, we're not. We're not in a not in the best situation, but okay. yet we're, we're making income. So I think again, it shows you that there's potential. There's potential. Yeah. Oh, so um, what would what type of advice would you give to mm -hmm. someone in terms of putting a team together? Because when you say a team, you mm -hmm. don't necessarily need an accounting. You mm -hmm. just need a cleaner or mm -hmm. a handyman, handy person, right? to fix things what are when you say team yeah what, 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 what do i mean? mean yeah um uh, people you can trust because they're going to be in your house mm -hmm. i assume you're maybe you can have mail delivered to your place still i'm not i'm not sure but you want people that you can trust yeah um actually i would limit how much mail is coming to your place mm -hmm. as well because while most guests are, are fine and good people, you, there's a bit of a risk with mail and all that, your personal information going there. Um, yeah, good, good, reliable, uh, trustworthy people. Uh, if you're going to, you're going to hire cleaners, people who are good with that. Uh, I've mostly hired homemakers because they're Japanese homemakers are very good at taking care of the house and cleaning. Uh, two or three of my staff have previous hotel experience. That's not absolutely necessary. Often their experience wasn't, you know, cleaning. It was more at the front desk or whatever. But uh, people who are good with people, people who are a bit flexible with people from other countries because you're getting people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, preferably people who can speak you know, a couple of languages, and in our case, Japanese and, and English, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. But um, at this moment, only one of my staff would be fluent at English other than myself. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, with, with the messaging app, if you're going to host from remotely like I do, it, it, it doesn't matter so much because of the translation function. Communicating with guests, guests is, is fairly easy because of the translation function at Airbnb. Mm -hmm. 